What's up everybody? This is Didi again, your indigenous homegirl, and today we are doing another mukbang cookbang video, and today's menu is going to be rice, cauliflower, and salmon. <laughs> Now I already have all my um, stuff prepared, so my meat is washed, my vegetables have been washed, and I have I have all my seasonings with me, so let's go ahead and get this started, shall we? Are you guys excited? I'm excited. So let me go ahead and heat this up, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this... Um, salted butter. I'm going to cut at least two, three tablespoons because I'm going to be cooking two salmons and then also for, I know some of you have kids and you don't, and they don't like fish. <laughs> so don't worry, I'm also going to be doing a chicken breast because I have a child too and uh, he doesn't like fish either. So so I'm going to be cooking all the meats at the same time. Now, as far as, you know, cooking um, a chicken and a fish together, usually you want to do that separately. But being that um, salmon is so mild and um, it, it doesn't take up, it's, it's less stinky, I guess, in my, in my opinion. It's a less stinkier um, fish and it's so mild that I don't see a problem with mixing the two meats. So we're going to go ahead and get this butter heated so it can start to melt and that's going to act as our oil. And once again, if you guys haven't noticed, I am using the electric skillet so this is going to be one of those one kitchen appliance meals. Salmon. <gasps> Look at that. I'm gonna go ahead and do the fillet up. I know it's preferable to put the fillet down, but I'm gonna show you why I do it this way. Here's my other fillet. And then here's my chicken breast. It's a this one is a boneless chicken breast, so if some of you like the bone in, that's fine. That works as well. But me personally, I like the bone rice. Okay, so at this time, I have a lot. I work with a lot of dry seasonings, okay? Because I know uh, for especially uh, my people that live out on the reservation, I know it's really hard to keep fresh herbs and things like that. So what I'm gonna start out with is I'm gonna put in some sea salt. Crack in some of the sea salt on the meat. Give it a couple of cranks, and then I am also going to add in some some black pepper. I like using the peppercorns. To me, it just has a better flavor to it. Give them a couple of good turns, and then also I like to add in some of this lemon pepper. I know I already put regular lemon and I have a um, natural lemon on the side, but this is just to add its taste. And to make it really, really tasty, I also like to add in some additional dry herbs. So, I'm going to go ahead and add in some parsley. Right here some parsley I'm going to go ahead and turn this down a bit then I'm going to go ahead and add in some rosemary If you have access to fresh herbs, go ahead and use them, you know. Like I said, there's no judgments and all that. But you know, you use your resources that you have. 
and like I said for those of you that can't make it into town to the store I know the stores on the reservation they tend to be a lot higher in price than um, than you would get in the in the cities or in town so and then I'll, I'm also gonna add in some oregano so my brother says if you want all that you can go ahead and go for the Italian seasoning but me I like using all of it separately I don't know why to me it just has a better flavor and then I'm also gonna add in some of the basil leaves so you get lots and lots of flavoring on them so you can see um, the it's already halfway done you know the salmon and then uh, you got the chicken breast it's already pretty much halfway done so Sorry you guys, my cord doesn't go too far, so... Let me see if that'll help. There you go. See? And then I'm gonna, now that it's already halfway done, you know, for as far as the salmon goes, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this over. as far as the salmon goes you know because it already has a skin and all that stuff so but my son I know he likes um, lemon chicken so I'm gonna add a little bit more of this lemon seasoning and the natural lemon in. I'm not gonna put as much of the other herbs because there was already a lot on the other side the holidays I hope you guys aren't stressing out too much about it I know there's a lot of get-togethers that you have to be concerned about you know if you have um, functions at work with family with friends so many things to plan for and, and I know a lot of you worry a lot about um, gifts, you know, for your children or for your family members. But um, I want to encourage each and every one of you to um, just not worry about it a whole lot. You know, things will take care of themselves. I would hate to see you guys stress a lot over some of the things as like as far as buying gifts and things like that especially if I don't know if times are hard in your family if you have the capability to do all that kudos to you awesome I know you worked hard for it so bottom line all I wish for you and your family is that you have a lot of laughter a lot of good memories little to no stress if possible I know there's gonna be a few of those family bickering back and forth but hopefully it's all in good banter and all in good fun so see you see all that seasoning and then as far as the salmon goes let's go ahead and turn those over shall we Let's start with this one. Well, let's start with this one. This one's the furthest away for me. Ooh! Look at that! With all this seasoning. Okay, so it's not burnt, I swear to you. I promise. <laughs> it's just all the seasoning. 
And all that seasoning that I put on it, you know, it protects the salmon as the flavors are going into it. Dog. Ah. He's distracting me. So do you have any special plans for the holidays? Let me know. Or um like are you planning to head out of town? Or do you have any special festivities that are coming up in your town? Let me know. I know there is the Festival of Light that's coming up pretty soon on the um, Sahana Autumn Reservation. And I know, at least when I was living at home, there was the Christmas parade that happened um, in Kikotsmo Bay every year, or what we affectionately know as K-Town. So, especially for those of you that are out there in Indian country, or even the surrounding areas in Tucson, let me know what's happening. I try and uh, find all the local listings, you know, on Facebook and things like that. So, I'm just to find things to do, you know on your off days, you know, just so you have something else to do. Now mind you, you don't have to buy anything, but just a good road trip, you know, is always, is always needed. But then again, also staying at home, you know, staying warm, making good meals like this, maybe popping, popping some popcorn and watching a really good seasonal movie. All oh, that sounds good, right? Shoot. So now for the rice cauliflower. At this time, I'm going to go ahead and pause for a moment so you guys can see how you can get the rice cauliflower done. cauliflower and be careful it kind of goes all the all over the place <laughs> when you're cutting so because um, it does get really fine you know it kind of sticks to your hands a little bit kind of like snow or really really fine styrofoam snow so so um, you will need to do a little bit of cleanup but other than that it it's awesome it's good you know it's really easy to cut cauliflower is so soft Welcome back. At this time, so a lot of that is really easy now. They do sell 
like I said earlier in, in, um, in showing you how to rice the cauliflower, you can buy, they sell them already riced, pre-riced for you if you want to do that. But to me, um, they're usually anywhere from like four to five dollars a bag, uh, depending on where you're shopping at. But um, to me, it's, it's so much cheaper just to go ahead and buy the fresh cauliflower and dice it up yourself. Some of them, some people put it into a food processor, but as far as me, I, I find ricing it and dicing it up myself therapeutic. It's very soft, very easy to cut. Yeah, it gets all over a little bit, but <laughs> I just like the feeling of, of the chopping, you know, doing it myself. It, it, it feels a little bit more gratifying to me. So, and I know a lot of you don't like cauliflower. Some of you may not like cauliflower because of the bitterness, but I promise you the way this recipe is going to take away that bitterness and add in flavor. And this is a good rice substitute for those of you that have to um, lower your carbs, your, lower your carb intake. So this is a good solution for that. So I'm going to go ahead and put all that butter and all that seasoning in there. I'm going to go ahead and add this in. Because the cauliflower has a lot of moisture in it, you don't have to worry about, you know, adding in water. Me, I don't add in water because to me that just makes it a little soggy. And I like my rice cauliflower to be a little bit more, have a little bit more chew into it. For those of you that know me all too well, cheese. Now since with this rice cauliflower recipe, um, for the cheese, I like to get a little bit more bougie, you know, in quality with the cheese. I like to go for a little bit more nuttier cheese. So this one was a... More of an organic um, cheese that I bought. It was a little bit more aged. And um, I got it at Sprouts, so... I just because it's so nutty and so rich I only need a little bit of it and again this is just to kind of add a little bit more nuttiness to the cauliflower so for those of you like I said that don't like the bitterness of the cauliflower I promise you this helps and then also it helps to give it a little bit a cohesiveness to it so just put some of that in there again we don't need a whole lot just to taste So let's go ahead and start with the salmon. Mm. Oh my gosh, you guys, this is good. So I still have a little bit of the lemon on the side, so if you want to add a little bit more of the citrus to it, go ahead and squeeze that into your lemon, or <laughs> go ahead and squeeze that into your salmon. <laughs> Sorry. You can just pick those seeds out.
This is so good. I'm telling you guys, like, all the, um, the herbs, the lemon, and then a little bit of the cheese into the cauliflower. I'm telling you, it's so good. Do you like my utensils? Cool, right? Some of you might be weirded out being that I'm putting my mouth on this end and then the other end and using both. It's going into my body anyway, so. I don't care. It's good. Oh, I didn't realize. Again, like I said, I know um, fish is a little harder to come by, especially when you're living on the reservation. Um, fresh fish, especially. Um, I know that they sell some at Costco and at um, Sam's Club. I don't know if either any of you guys have membership to there, but you can buy at least the frozen kind. I know you lose a lot of the... Um, it just doesn't taste the same, but... At least you can have it in your freezer, you know, and and the night that you, on the night that you're gonna be cooking, you just, can just take it out and leave it in the refrigerator to thaw. Hmm. The reason why I opted to use this is because <laughs> being that it's my skillet, I want it to last a long time, and I don't like metal utensils to because it tends to scratch up your appliance. So that's why I use a lot of wooden or bamboo um, cooking utensils. And I figure since I'm eating out of out of the crock pot, I mean, sorry, out of the skillet. Hmm? When I bought these, I actually intended them to be um, camping utensils because you know they're both a fork and a spoon. And it's small, so you could easily pack it. But, unfortunately, I just haven't been able to do any camping this year. But, it is a goal that I'm making for 2019. I already have all my gear picked out and everything like that I have two storage bins flat storage bins in my trunk and they've been in there all all year because I had hoped I we would have been able to make a getaway but you know you know how it is when you have your careers and there's just a lot of demand or a lot of demand going on a lot of commitments going on um, so but I with this YouTube channel and um, you know all this vlogging adventure hopefully that's going to change all that around like lit literally like no more talk actual doing so maybe you'll see these in my camping adventure 
talking about people? <clears throat> As mom would say, my eyes are bigger than my stomach, so I'm going to stop here for now. Don't worry, none of this is going to get wasted. I'm not throwing any of this out, believe me. I'm going to go ahead and see if the rest of the family wants to finish this out. Because it's not too much, so... For those of you that have been watching my videos so far, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate your support. And, um, I'm glad you're here, though. I'm glad you found my channel. And I hope you continue to follow this journey of mine. If you'd like to see some more of my content, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I hope to see you again. And in the words of Martha So'o, come again.